Today on Designer Co, we are going to be making these fabulous glitter rhinestone clutches, which are perfect for kids to make and also perfect for adults who want to add a touch of whimsy to their wardrobe. For today's glitter clutch project, you're going to need a few different materials. One is the lovely Mod Podge. I chose glossy finish. You can use matte if you prefer. You'll also need some jewel glue to adhere the rhinestones. You'll need a little tray that either you don't mind getting messy or that you can toss out at the end. You'll need some glitter, some rhinestones, a foam brush, and of course your clutch base. Now this could be a pencil case, it can be a purse, and it can be canvas, leather, vinyl, whatever you wish. So for the first step, what you want to do is pour yourself, if you can get it open, pour yourself a generous amount of Mod Podge. Then what you want to do is choose whatever color glitter you want. You can mix colors if you wish. So you actually want to have one part podge to one part glitter. So I know it looks like a ton, but you really want a whole lot of glitter happening. Okay, so when you have a one to one ratio, you wanna take your foam brush and mix it up with the pod until it pretty much looks just like white glue with some glitter specks in it. And you're gonna paint it on to one side of your bag, so choose which side you want glitter. And you're gonna go in even strokes from one side and you want to make sure not to drag your brush too much. So if it starts dragging, it means you need to add more podge to your brush. Don't go over the same spot too many times until you've let it dry in between. Um, if you try doing that, it will get really gloppy and gloopy and no fun. This project is fantastic for kids because of course, what kid doesn't love glitter? And fantastic for parents too because once you mix the glitter in the podge, once it dries, it'll have that super glittery effect but it won't flake off all over your home. We've done one coat of Mod Podge glue on the bag, and we're gonna allow drying time in between, and all your kids are gonna be saying, ah, oh, mine's wet, it's not glittery, mom, 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 what's going on? When it dries, I promise it will be super, super glittery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow 10 or 15 minutes of drying time between coats, and you wanna end up with three to four coats in total. So after you've painted your four coats and the bag has fully dried, you're just gonna take your jewel glue and squeeze a little dab onto the back of the rhinestone and then place it on your bag and press down. And you will end up with something lovely that looks like this. And that is your little glitter clutch. Subscribe now if you love rhinestones. Subscribe now if you just love glitter. Subscribe now if you are going to go home and glitter everything in your house. Think hard about it first.